Hey. So yeah, you already know I just did this look for you guys. Springtime dramatic brightness. Anyway, I wanted to really quick do a Ari's dupes because I haven't done it in forever. And today's topic is sanitation. And I'm just gonna go over a few things really quick. It's not gonna be too long. I'm trying to save some memory. So I'm gonna start with brush soaps. Not the little spot cleaner, although I'm gonna go over that too. But soap, like to scrub and deep clean your brushes. Please clean your brushes. Your pores will thank you. Starting at the cheapest. I don't know, I think it's like three dollars. Elf brush shampoo. It's almost gone. It did its purpose. Second cheapest, like emergency type stuff. Or if you just like it, you can always use um in the travel section in a pharmacy, trust me, a shampoo, tiny little travel size. Keep that in your kit. Then they used to be eight dollars, now they're ten dollars, but they smell amazing. Corin Xander from YouTube, he makes brush soaps now and they smell delicious with money. Eat them. This is cantaloupe because I'm classy like that and I just like cow. Okay, anyway. It has a loof up on the back. Yes. Hi there. You can't really see it though. Oh, you see that? Yes. And you just be scrubbing and scrubbing and then get all that makeup out. Yes. And it smells amazing. So that is the Corin Xander soap. And cantaloupe. You can also get those at Alcom, Alcom.com or a lot of places like Cinema Secret, stuff like that online or CorinXander.com. Or the makeup show and I met. Then we have a forty dollar brush shampoo from the London Brush Company. I got from online, like a jerk. I should have got it at the makeup show. Natural. They have different flavors, scents, antibacterial, all that unscented stuff. It was full, but I used it to the girl in makeup school. I was washing them brushes after every part model. But, um, yeah, that's like $43 with tax and shipping current. Anyway, it was great <laughs> while I had it. Moving right along. Then here we go with the spot treatment. Hairy and Spirit. Smells like citrus. Bunch of peeled oranges. Very strong peeled oranges. But it's really great. What I showed you guys in a previous video for this look. It's a spot cleaner. Sorry about that that for the moment you need the pigment off that brush because you need that brush right now and you can't wash it you just just like an airbrush you clean it out with the cleanser and until the color is gone and that's really great now more sanitary wise you go to the pharmacy and you get a 91 percent bottle of alcohol because they don't sell 99 percent only in specific stores like in new york city in the mud store which is the 99 percent alcohol because MUD is a makeup, makeup designery, is a SFX school, special effects, so you need 99% make 99% alcohol to activate certain types of paints. So yeah, I use that to spray and like um, disinfect my makeup and stuff on the makeup show. Beauty So Clean this is an antibacterial spray for makeup products, like in your kit before you pack up. You just six inches, six inches away, take the palette, sh sh spray, let it air dry real quick, and you're sanitary again. So, right along to your sanitation as a makeup artist or whoever, if you're just doing people's faces, you're touching people. Also, recommend washing your hands first thoroughly. I personally, as a makeup artist, carry so because I'm a but anyway. So I wash my hands. I always have one of these on my purses or my zookas. There's the Purell brand and then there's the Bath and Body brand. They smell super good, super yummy, and you have the little hooky things you can buy and always have them with you. So for that, to offset the price of that, I buy the generic large bottle and I refill them instead of buying them for $3 and change every time for a little bottle. Second to last, I have the Real Techniques brush. Original formula, not this, the new one. It looks very porous and a little dark 
orange. This is kind of like a creamsicle orange and it's very velvety looking. I wish I could get my old one, but it's like kind of dirty. Can't see. It's stained. But yeah, this is the Real Techniques one. It's like angled. It's like five bucks. I mean, for me personally, I don't really care for it to do highlight and contour because normally I beat a face with a beauty blender and use it to highlight and contour and blend out. It's good, just good to slap on the foundation, personally. Other girls like it. For me, not so much. Then, of course, the daddy. The beauty blender itself. But if you're in a hurry and emergency, just buy one of these babies. Because you know these are $20. But they're so worth it clean those with the beauty blender so I prefer the beauty blender solid because I just like it it's, I don't know I just like it see it's like in the dish you, you wet it you swirl it on after you soak the sponge you just swirl 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 rub 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 all around so it's covered in soap and you squeeze 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 the product out until there's no more product left and it dries and it's like a faint scent but a clean scent and you leave them on a towel overnight and they dry Boom. Sanitary. Last but not least, just like a bonus product. It's my Benjabel brush tree. It's like a silicone brush holder. It's a stand. It's not very sturdy, but it gets the job done. And you just, after you wash them, you just stick them in here. And they hang and dry overnight really quick opposed to laying them flat on a towel. It takes longer and you gotta keep flipping, flipping, flipping. You can fit a whole bunch of those. You can fit like maybe five to six brushes in one hole if you if you want. I do it all the time. And that's it guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching one of my Ari's dupes. Hit like, subscribe. I'll see you later.